guys, this is a vintage Dior two-way bag that I picked up from Japan a couple months ago now, but I would say about three months ago. And I'm gonna take a look here. It is in, I would say pretty decent condition for a bag that's pretty old. This is the gold CD hardware. It, it does have a magnetic clasp closure here. This bag, I wasn't able to get a ton of information about, but I believe it's from the 1980s to 90s. It was before Christian Galliano, or sorry, Christian, John Galliano took over the Dior house. This is kind of a purplish blue color, which is what I was drawn to. You'll see the closure here. And inside there are three compartments, one, two, and a back pocket here. They have a lot of loss of structure, but you can tell that this is really soft leather. There is a zipper compartment back here. And it does say Christian Dior. It's hard to see. Made in France. Now I did find inside this, which I thought was pretty cool. Nothing too fancy to it. This bag did have a little bit of a musty odor, but I did use activated charcoal to help take out that smell. It smells just fine now. Um, the strap is convertible. You can take this out here and move it. Uh, it's a little difficult now while I'm filming, but it does become a crossbody bag. Now there is a slight difficulty if you can see with the clasp when it locks you have to push it but this bag I think was only about $300 it was my first Dior bag so for the price and condition I'm pretty happy with it okay so what fits we're gonna go ahead and put in an iPhone 11 into the front pocket here I don't carry a ton this is my wallet, I'm going to show, back here, um, hand sanitizer, put that in the back, and we'll just look at my sunglasses, also into the back pocket. So there's still quite a bit of room if you wanted to fit more back pocket. You can put a card holder, some other items. I normally put my keys in the front with the phone. And then when I want to snap it closed, that's how she looks. I'll go ahead and do a mod shot. But again, um, bags from Japan are usually, they have amazing photos and are very well descriptive. I never worry about authenticity with bags from Japan. This is a mod shot of what she looks like. Sorry for the uh, sweater. It's pretty cold today. And yeah. If you have any questions about the vintage two-way back, let me know.